Jeffreys Bay is a small town in the Eastern Cape. It's really well known for the wave. When JB is pumping, it's one of the best waves in the world. Growing up in JB is, you know, for me, JB is two different places. Because where I come from is like, the ghetto, there's like nothing, just gangsters everywhere. Your house gets broken into every weekend almost. You basically have nothing because of what's happening there. I don't know how to say this, but you know, when I started surfing, like, I just felt so much better being in the water because I forget about everything that happens on the land. Because the land is so, like, for me, it's like the worst place to be. Just one road away from all the shops is Balsas, the township. And a township is where most of the poor people live. They basically just put up houses just outside a big town, just start living there. The whole town just have their own rules. You get a lot of townships around South Africa. There's not a lot of opportunities in Jeffrey's Bay. And there's so many people. I feel like the majority of Jeffrey's Bay is people from Belsris, where I'm from, doesn't have jobs. Most of them have to live off grant, which is money they get from the government. All my family used to like, they had boats, like fishing, and like some of my cousins used to be surfers. And for us, like, we wanted to like kind of make a difference, like we didn't want to be like be around gangsters. Me and my cousin we tried to like go surf every single day because we knew that's the only way out. There's nothing to look up to in the townships except from seeing gangsters every day. And if you see that every day, you get so used to seeing that. that you actually want to be part of that because everyone thinks that's cool. So even if you try to get out of the townships, it can always follow you. We sent my brother to college and he was there for three weeks. Didn't know anyone. First time there. And then the guy just pulled out the gun, shot him. No reason, never knew the guy. That was last year, seven days after my birthday. Surfing basically saved my life. I could have been in those games so easily. Half of my friends, really close friends, that's part of those games now. That could have been me. I don't really want to be like my father. My father went to jail when I was five months old. And he only got out like two years ago. When I started surfing, Everyone was like, oh, you're not going to be that, you're not going to be this, you're going to be like your father. I just wanted to kind of show them wrong. So for me, I just tried to surf. Tried to surf every single day. And whenever I'm in the water, my mind is clear. I don't even think about home.
When I started surfing, it was way more surface than what there is now. When we all started, we were like all frothing, like straight after school, the water would be packed, like all of us in the water. And we started doing events. Some of us were winning, some of us were losing. The ones that was losing just like slowly moved away from it. Most of them had started joining the gangs. My cousin Rivaldo Abasai used to be a really, really good surfer. He was actually the one that pushed me the most. He like slowly moved into like walking with the wrong guys, like some of the gangsters. He got murdered brutally, not even far away from our house, like a hundred meters just up the road. When we got there, we couldn't even recognize him. The only way we recognized him was he had a tattoo on his wrist and by the clothes he was wearing. The new group of grams coming up in Jaiba at the moment, such cool kids, always frightening to surf, always in the water. I was the same when I was young. All of them were up so hard. I know some of them is going to like it, some of them is not, but if I can get at least 20 of them, it's 20 less games this in the future. If I didn't come from that, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Anything that happens to me, I'm like, I can handle that. That's so too tough. I've been through worse, way worse. So I think it kind of prepared me for a lot of things. Never forget where you come from. 